Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a uh, review and a wear test of the new NARS uh, Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. This is new to NARS. Um, it is their latest foundation launch. I quite love um, NARS foundations. NARS is actually one of my favorite brands. So when I got a sample of these, I was so, so excited um, because it promises to be a natural finish um, and long wearing, which are two things that I absolutely love and live for when I'm looking for a uh, foundation. Um, it promises 16 hour wear. I'm not going to be testing this out for 16 hours. I got a pretty late start in my day. It is one o'clock p.m. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how it wore throughout the day. I have been wearing it for about a week now since I received an early preview of it and I've already formed my opinion. I wanted a full blown um, wear and I wanted to be able to live in this foundation in order to give the best review. Now this foundation promises to be um, promises to have 16 hour wear like I mentioned before. It says it is a natural fade resistant um, transfer resistant full to medium to full coverage foundation and I will say that it is definitely medium to full this is just one application or one pump you can build it up if you feel like it it doesn't feel thick it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on the skin um, and I don't think it looks sorry bus and I don't think it looks cakey or heavy or thick on my skin at all it looks very much like my skin if it were even toned and beautiful. <laughs> um, now, when I am wearing, when I have been wearing this, um, I did get compliments on my skin care. People think that like my skin looks glowy, it looks good, it looks healthy. Um, it does cover up some acne marks, but if you have um, really deep, like persistent acne marks, it, um, you might have to do a second layer. Mine, I've just got some that are fading, so it's not too too bad. Um, and you can't really see anything underneath uh, the skin so or underneath the foundation. So I do like this for an everyday type of foundation. Uh, now a con of this foundation that I will say is that it is not transfer resistant. Although they claim that it is, I find that this foundation kind of gets everywhere. If you touch your face often, just be very careful of that because um, I sometimes forget and I'll touch my face and then when I go in and touch my white as all hell apartment <laughs> um i get foundation everywhere so um i did i did notice that you know i had foundation on my keyboard and all it was it was kind of gross looking but um so yeah this does not transfer i mean this is not transfer resistant um i haven't seen it transfer on to my clothes or anything but i'm always very careful of you know how closely when i'm hugging people um, or if I'm taking off my clothes, my shirt or my dress, I make sure I wash my face first. Um, but I did notice that because I touch my face quite often, which is a bad habit, I'm trying to stop, um, this foundation kind of got everywhere. But although this foundation transferred from my face to my fingers, um, it did not fade throughout the day, at least when I'd been wearing it. When I put this on, I had, um, gone out, lived my life, I went to dinner with friends, and then when I came back, my skin still looked good, it looked okay, I didn't look tired, um, it didn't look patchy, it didn't look uneven, so that is a major plus. I will show you guys throughout the day, and hopefully I'm not proven a liar. <laughs> um, I did not set this face with powder, as you'll see in the demo, I just went in with the foundation. I did put a little bit of the MAC Patrick Star powder underneath the eyes, in the forehead and on my nose since that's where I get a little bit oily um, or a lot of bit oily but I didn't put um, a powder foundation on top and this is a very much a radiant foundation if you have dry skin I feel like you might like this I have normal oily skin and I still like this foundation it looks healthy at the end of the day it doesn't look greasy which is extremely important to me I think there's a big difference um, this looks radiant, which is what the name promises. It's not dewy, which is a big like plus for me. It just looks as if like my skin is healthy. I'm living my life. I'm glowing. <laughs> so yeah, it's a radiant finish. Um, all in all, I do quite like this foundation. I think it's a good everyday foundation when I'm not looking for like a full beat, but I want my skin to look flawless. This is a good alternative or a good option. The only thing is the whole it transferring and getting all over the place. 
but my skin looks healthy it looks good so I don't mind it as much I just have to be extra mindful of not touching my face <laughs> I will say excuse the bare lips because I am about to film a lip swatch video so I didn't want to get on here <laughs> and, and put on a lip only to have to take it off if you've ever filmed a lip swatch video you know how intense it can be so yeah, so that's my quick overview of the foundation. I'm going to be filming a couple of additional videos. I'm going to um, live my life <laughs> and then I will check in either throughout the day or at the end of the day just to sh um, share with you guys how the foundation looks in the evening. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and see you in a couple of hours. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is my face a couple of hours later. It is now 8 p.m. And I feel like the foundation has held up pretty well. Um, I am pretty shiny in the forehead area. I have not blot all day, so keep that in mind. This is my makeup after a couple of hours. I did eat. I am wearing the Fenty Mademoiselle in the shade Griselda, but I just ate a greasy pizza so it's not a perfect application. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my face after a couple of hours. You can see that I am, ooh, that highlight. <laughs> um, you can see that I am still pretty shiny in the forehead um, and a little bit on the nose, basically the places where I did not set my foundation. Um, overall, I like, this, I like this foundation. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't make me feel like I have to wash my makeup off. Um, I feel like around this time, a lot of foundations, I just want to get it off of my face, wash my face, and be done with it. Whereas this one, um, I quite like the way my skin looks. I can easily just blot um, and then, you know, touch up if I am going out, if I weren't going to be washing my face. <laughs> so I hope this is um, helpful for you guys who have been interested in or looking at to buy this foundation. Um, I, I like it. So I like in the end, I quite like this foundation. I think my skin looks great. Um, it looks healthy. It's not breaking up really anywhere on my face. I could easily just blot and continue on with my life um, if I weren't washing this off. I think the wear time is great. I like how my skin looks. I like how my skin feels underneath this. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't feel cakey. Um, it doesn't settle into any of my lines. I do have um, a pretty fun under eye area where things just tend to settle and crease. I don't have that in, um, that problem with this foundation, which is great. So yeah, I really hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!